Ever since the advent of air travel in December 1903 by the Wright brothers, it has steadily grown into one of the quickest means of transportation in the world. However, as we evolve with the future, air travel is expected to develop with new technology. With that said, impertinent questions exist. How about an airplane with wings as part of its body? Like an electric car is the future of travel on roads, can an electric jet really be a viable option as we go into the future? Airbus Project Maverick The word Maverick in the airline industry refers to model aircraft for validation and experimentation of robust innovative controls. Airbus is one of the largest airlines companies in the world today and accounts for some of the highest selling customer flights. Recently, this company confided about a new project that included an unmanned vehicle with an experimental blended wing body. The development began in 2017 under the Airbus Up Next research program and it was conceived to be a demonstrator for a full-scale BWB airliner. Airbus has also claimed that the sleek design can reduce up to 20% of fuel. The Maverick is developed as a radio-controlled aircraft comprising of a wingspan 3.2 meters. The engine receives power from its two engines attached over the rear of the vehicle, with each being equipped with a vertical stabilizer, thus preparing a twin-tail arrangement. It is supposed to be 2 meters in length with a total wingspan of 3.2 meters and an area of 2.25 square meters. Additionally, Airbus has claimed that the revolutionary embedded wing design can reduce fuel consumption by 20%. Boeing T-7 Red Hawk The United States Air Force wanted to phase out its older jets in favor of a new modern fighter. On 27 September 2018, the Boeing Saab T-7 Red Hawk was officially selected by the USAF as the winner of the TX program to replace the Northrop T-38 Talon. The T-7 Red Hawk is a combined American and Swedish advanced jet trainer manufactured by Boeing in partnership with Saab. Boeing submitted a design of a fighter jet, developed in cooperation with its Swedish partner Saab. The T-7 Red Hawk is a single-engine jet trainer equipped with a twin-tail, tandem seating and retractable tricycle landing gear. The original designs had a General Electric F404 after burning turbofan engine. The aircraft was first revealed to the public on 13 September 2016. Its first flight happened on 20 December 2016. The USAF has ordered a total of 351 aircraft and 46 simulators, along with maintenance, training and support for a program cost of up to $9.2 billion. This contract has included a total of 475 for delivery. Saab delivers the fighter in two afts to Boeing, who then combines the two divisions and factories to create the jet. To cope with the complexities of the jet, Saab has built a brand new facility in West Lafayette, Indiana that is expected to serve as the manufacturing center for the T-7A Red Hawks afts sections as well as subsystems like hydraulics, fuel systems and a secondary power source. Airbus E-Fan X The Airbus E-Fan X is a hybrid electric aircraft demonstrator that was being developed by a partnership of Airbus, Rolls-Royce and Siemens. First announced on 28 November 2017, it followed other electric flight demonstrators towards sustainable transport in accordance with the European Commission's Flight Path 2050 vision. While electric vehicles are already up and running on motorways across Europe and beyond, electric aeroplanes are still very much fiction as the power required to fly such a plane is humongous. The Airbus Efan X flying has one of its four Lycoming ALF 502 turbofans replaced by the Siemens 2 MW electric motor that provides a power of 27 horsepower. The electric motor is adapted by Rolls-Royce and receives power from the AE2100 turboshaft, which is controlled and integrated by Airbus with a two-ton battery. The Efan X is anticipated to be a safe, efficient and economical hybrid single-aisle airliner. Airbus and Siemens have collaborated since the summer of 2016 on the e-aircraft systems, primarily for electric propulsion components as well as necessary ground tests. Airbus is given the task of building the control architecture and integration of the systems, while Rolls-Royce will attach the Siemens motor and the fan to the original nacelle and manufacture the turboshaft, generator and power electronics. Siemens is expected to build the main electric motor and the complete power electronic control unit including the inverter and power distribution. The high power propulsion systems of the aircraft face challenges from thermal effects, electric thrust management, altitude above sea level and dynamic effects as well as electromagnetic compatibility issues. However, the bigger problem for aircraft currently is the COVID-19 pandemic as the program was cancelled in April 2020. How amazing do you think these modern aircrafts are? Please view and give your thoughts in the comment section.